Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having the most incredible Saturday. If this is your first time on my, or Sunday, this is your first time on my channel. My name is Sebastian and I welcome you guys with open arms. I do tea video, pop culture videos every single day. So make sure you guys go and hit that subscribe button. I would be super incredibly grateful as a creator, a growing creator, it really helps me. I was um, laying in bed watching Hairspray, as you guys can see. What's your favorite song from Hairspray? Let me know in the comments below. Mine is, um, oh God, what is that song she sings with uh, Zac Afron? Damn, bitch, what? Girl, now I have to find it. Anyways, while I find it, hello guys. I hope you're doing well. If this is your first time on my channel, I do videos every single day. Um, so if you're looking for a messy best friend who you can like chill with, it's me. Okay, so we're gonna have to talk about Will Smith in a second. And the song that I love is Without Love, You Can't Stop the Beat. Um, I Know Where I've Been, Whoa, and I Can Hear the Bells. Girl, all of them. I love all of them. But anyways, okay, so we need to talk about Will Smith, you guys, because it is not looking good for Will Smith right now. Will Smith, like, first of all, it is so insane everything that's going on with Will Smith because, like, you know, Will Smith was, like, the golden guy. You know what I mean? Like, he was Hollywood's golden guy, and it's just so insane how this act that he did has really tarnished everything because not only has it affect him personally, but it is now affecting him professionally. So he was supposed to have a movie with Netflix called Loose and Furious or something. I read it and I was like, girl, is that Fast and Furious remake? But no, it is called Fast and Loose. And that movie has been like turned to the back burner, honey. Netflix said, I don't want anything to do with Will Smith. And Sony did the same thing. We were about to get freaking Bad Boys 4. And Sony said, nope. He even had a script, you guys. Before the Oscars, he had like a 40 page script that was given to him because they were gonna like start the movie process of, of you know, doing uh, Bad Boys, Bad Boys. So it's just like, damn, you know what I mean? Like all of this upcoming projects, all of these big production companies, and like streaming services and like, you know, they're just like not wanting to, you know, have anything to do with Will Smith. Not only that, but it really feels like he is now getting blacklisted from a lot of Hollywood things. You know, he resigned from the Academy so he can no longer be um, nominated for an Oscar. He can no longer attend. Like it has become so big and he resigned himself before, you know, he would get kicked out. I think they gave him like that sort of uh, respect, but you know, is there anything that could help him? Is there anything that could help him really just like do a 180? I truly believe that in the world of PR, the best thing that Will Smith can do is unfortunately the recipe that has worked in the past is you go away for some time and then you start the comeback trail. But I really think because Will Smith is Will Smith that I think he should do something totally different. And I really truly feel like he, hang on. Oh, it's 11-11, make a wish. Okay. Um, I think that the best thing that Will Smith can do is set up, you know, there was rumors that Will Smith was gonna have Chris Rock at the um, Red Table Talk, you know, Jada show. But I don't know if that's a good idea because right now, so many people are hating on Jada and they're basically blaming her for ending Will's career. But I'm so sorry, Will Smith is, you know, he's, he's, a, he's a big boy. He chose to do this. Like Jada did not force him, put a gun on his head. You know, it just wasn't like that. So you can't sit here and blame Jada for his actions. Like, that's not fair for Jada. But, you know, there was rumors that she, that they were gonna have Chris Rock in the Red Table talk. And I honestly think that could be a really great idea if done right. Because 
Right now, like I said, bitch, nobody likes Jada. Everyone's blaming her for ruining, you know, allegedly ruining Will Smith's career. So I think what they should really do is focus on like helping, um, helping Will Smith do something completely different. You know, if he wants to speed up the comeback trail, I think he, they do need to have Chris Rock on. And I think Will Smith really needs to like not play the victim card and just take full accountability. And, you know, I think that regardless of what Chris Rock said, I think that Will Smith, it was wrong here. You know, he took the act of violence. Um, and, you know, obviously, like the honestly, 90% of the world agrees with that. Um, there are, of course, a lot of people saying, well, I'm sorry, but he had to, you know, defend his wife, which I am all about defending your partner, but not in a violent way, right? Unless Chris Rock was violently attacking Jada, I don't think that that was right, you know? And when I first saw it, I thought it was a joke, right? And, you know, I was like, girl, that he Will Smith is so sexy. He is the action, you know, movie hero that we all love. You know, there's Men in Black. You know what I mean? like bad boys for life, like all of these things. And then I'm like, oh, girl, this is turning into some Wild Wild West mess. You know what I mean? Like that movie was a mess. This is a mess. Um, and you know, it's just, I don't know. Like, I think that would probably be the only smart thing. So there are rumors that he is gonna have a sit down with Chris at the red table. And you know, I think that, I think the world might really need that right now and I and I, I I think Chris would be open to that. I think they should pay Chris to come on. Hell yeah. Um but I think that they should have him on and they should talk. They should you know Will Smith has the floor. You know what I mean? Like he messed up. He should do the talking. Chris Rock should just sit there and listen. And it's up to Chris Rock whether he wants to accept Will Smith's apology or not. But I don't know, you guys. What do you think? Do you think Chris Rock should go on Red Table Talk? Let me know in the comments below. I really think it would be a great idea just for the world to see peace. Because there's so much... There's everything but peace right now in the world. So it would be great to see these two icons get together and hopefully forgive each other and move on. And of course, you know, who knows if they can move on and be friends or anything, but at least give, give this situation the attention and the importance that it needs so the world can see that, yeah, there will always be mistakes done, but if we get together like grown-ups and talk about it and really vent and let out all of our pain and everything that's in our hearts, then I think we can definitely be more together. I feel like I should sing like, we are the world, you know, right? We are the children. But like for real though, what do you guys think? Do you think Chris Rock should go on the Red Table Talk? Let me know in the comments below. I am so incredibly grateful for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Really, you guys, from the bottom of my heart, I am beyond thankful. Um, I am... So thankful. So I'll see you guys in my next video. Do you guys like my little windbreaker? I got it at Ross. It was like nine bucks. It was cute. And uh, yeah, I love you guys. I'm going to go watch. Um, I can hear the bells. Something, something.